I think you can really give people some insight and help them feel better connected to everything that is going on. Obviously, Saturday, a very difficult day for everybody, but everybody. particularly Sissy. Now, yeah. you have known Mama Houston, as she's called, yeah. for a very long time. She sang backup for, for you, yeah, from what I understand. Did. My first couple albums, she's there, right there. Can you give us a, a sense of how you think she's doing today? I think it's very hard. I think when a mother loses a child under any circumstance, it's a it's a kind of pain that can only be described as as overwhelming. I mean, how anything else? If you say devastating, awful, uh, hard to bear, all of those things certainly can't apply. But overwhelming because when Sissy came out of the church uh, behind uh, Whitney's casket, I was standing right at the door, and she looked at me, and I grabbed her face and kissed her. And she just broke down, and of course, so did I. But in her breaking down, I felt something. I felt, I felt an almost helpless kind of, you know, thing that she did when she gave in. She was like, oh, you know. And of course, when she came out of the uh, church behind the casket, she was, was screaming for, for Whitney, my baby, my baby, my baby, which Whitney will always be, you know, no matter what the, the circumstance is. When we recall Whitney and her life and her accomplishments and her um, unfortunate passing to Sissy, she will always be, you know, my baby, my baby. And it was very poignant. What about you? How did the funeral impact you? Was there a particular moment that you'll carry with you for the rest of your life, a particular point in the, in the service? I think when Stevie Wonder, uh, who I absolutely adore and love and admire, uh, decided to honor what he, he I guess he considered uh, a, at least some sort of a request from Whitney. Whitney loved the song, Ribbon in the Sky. And Stevie sang that song and he um, substituted the words, I'm getting ready to cry. He, he, he replaced the words so that they applied to um, Whitney. And he started by saying April, and his voice broke, April, and he went on to say 1963, which is, of course, her birth date. And um, he, then he, he, he just ran through a little brief history, melodically, of what she had done, how, how she had gotten here, her mom, the church, her accomplishments, you know, and, you know, that she would always be his ribbon in the sky, which is a very, 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 very wonderful, special, special uh, thing, I think. The other moments that uh, touched me deeply were, of course, um, I, I was very, very moved by Clive Davis and mm. Kevin Costner, especially Kevin Costner.